Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, F Sheikh Excel Master, and I'm your friend Faraz Sheikh. And today we are going to learn create a drop-down list in Excel with four different methods. We usually make a drop-down list to restrict our users to mention incorrect entry, or you can just restrict them to enter the required details or the list what you like to have. So let me quickly jump into our demo file so that the things will be more clear for you and so let us quickly see how are we going to do it so the first one third my friends it's very simple my friends when you don't have a large list of data and you just wanted to have few options maybe three or four options you can just use this method which can simplify your tasks so first you need to do is highlight the range then you need to go data validation and in data validation select settings then you can select list and in the list we would just like to say yes and we'll separate the second option by comma and say no and you can add multiple options by separating it by comma okay great we have the list ready over here with yes and no and what about if you wanted to add it you can just go back again data validation comma don't know great isn't it easy my friends let's look the second method even this is also very simple you just again need to select the range you need to go to data validation you need to go again select and select the list and this time I'm not going to enter anything I'm just going to select the source of my data when you have a large set of data I would suggest you to make a master data for the drop-down list and then you can record those list over there and then accordingly you can just select it in the source so we will just select the source over here and we're going to select okay great now if you see we have these colors we have blue we have red great this is good so but what about if we enter another color in this range so it will not work because the range is not dynamic and we will be covering up how to make this range dynamic so let's go back to demo file and see our third method where in third method we'll go back to our data we are going to select this range and we are going to go to formula and we are going to define it as name so this is country we are going to say it as country and we'll see okay once you define this range as a name, so next time when I type country, it will automatically select the range. So we will go back to our demo file. We'll go here. We'll go data, data validation. I'll again select list. And this time, either I can write equals to country because the name range is the country, or I can just simply hit f3 from my keyboard so it will give me the range names so i'll select country and i'll select ok great we have uk and we have india so in case we wanted to add another data over here like uh, china then the list will not work all you need to do is go back to formulas name manager you just need to change the range of country your name range country to 8 so I feel that's not possible every time to do it from here you can see China is here and similarly in case of this colors you can go back to data you can go back to data validation and again you can select the range as 6 so it can take that into the range 
if you see we have this color purple also available here the fourth method is a very simple method my friends and I'm sure this will be very helpful for you because I'm using it in my daily Excel routine works to ensure that these drop down lists are being dynamically updated as soon as I have a new data over here so I'll go back to my list over here and I'm going to write a simple magic formula you can just write it anywhere wherever you like on a blank cell so we're going to say offset the reference is the Batman and most important thing to lock the range it's lock comma then it's asking for rows so the rows will be zero columns will be zero I'll just put it here so it will make it more easy columns will be zero comma count a the count a function I have already covered in my previous video so you can just have a look on the count a function we are going to count the height of this column and again we are going to lock it comma uh, close parentheses minus one again close parentheses enter great so we once we have got our formula ready over here you can just cut the formula from here you can select the range go back to data validation select list and in place of source you can paste that formula and you can press ok great so we have all our superheroes in the list and we'll add another superhero K-R-I-S-H-H -S Krish he's an Indian superhero and he's a really great actor Mr. Rithik Roshan and once we go back to our demo file you can see he's added let us add another superhero Iron Man and we have the Iron Man also in the list thank you so before I end my video I would like to show it to you two things how to clear this drop down list range so you can just select the range and you can go back data data validation yes and you can clear all okay as you can see from this range we have been selected till A15 it's not there but if you even wish to remove it from here then again you can go data validation it will ask you yes okay and then clear all the second thing which I would like to show it to you is that since now you have a lot of your data coming down you cannot just copy paste this drop down list and paste it over here so that it will come here no it doesn't make the shape look professional we're going to select this data and we are going to convert this data into a table range and regarding the table range tables I have already covered in my previous video you can click the above link for more details and we'll select OK yes and as soon as I hit a tab key and I go down you can see the drop down list has already been carry forwarded down you can see here Great. you need to be at the last record of your data and then you press hit a tab key and then the data will automatically create a drop down list so I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button subscribe to my channel share this video and a soft copy of this file will be available on my Facebook group page and you can download from there and uh, you can just try it by yourself I have just made a sample file over here and in case if you're stuck up somewhere then you can just click the link and it will directly direct you to the video and do not forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get the latest update signing off for today your friend Farah Sheikh from FSheikh Excel Master